What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. What is your body count so far this year? So it's she's a runner, what, she's a track star. July 6th. So I've been with about a person each day for the last like six, seven months. Each day? Each day. So I mean, if there has been six months, 30-ish days, then that's a lot of people. We're Chat, one sec. Let's do some quick maths here. Oh my lord, what is that? 30 times 6? 180 bodies? Oh my goodness gracious. Got more bodies in a graveyard. Unreal. We're already in triple digits. So what's 30 times 6? Someone in the comments let us know. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it could be a little less or a little more, but definitely. Chat, that just shows you how dumb I am. Stupid. I couldn't even do six times 30. <laughs> like, I've been with about one person each day. Some days multiple, some days not at all, but. So how many of those people are new people, or is it all just like the same that you're getting? No, I mean, yeah, I've had some consistent, like, you know, people that I'll come back to, like, if they're really right, but most of the time it's new people, because I like new experiences, and I want to try everyone out. She belongs to the streets. Someone needs to break it to her that having a Wow. Got to try those new flavors, Baskin Robbins. <laughs> Get those 31 in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These guys aren't simping, honey. We're not going for it. Ending the simp epidemic. It doesn't look like you want to get a hug. Maybe the look on her face isn't giving I want a hug. Who knows? I, who who really knows, bro? One female be like, yeah, you fumble me. That's how I know you don't even watch football. Because <laughs> when you fumble, you accidentally drop the ball. Girl, back. I threw you back to the streets. That's a complete pass. Ain't no fumble. She's a runner. She's that a track star. Oh, <laughs> you learned something. This man said it was no accident. <laughs> I meant to do that. 19 year olds literally going straight into and not. Did you go to university? I went to Mississippi State University. I did college first. I tried first before I had a but it didn't work out, right? Oh my god. Stupid. I tried first before I got an insta before I got an only Oh come on, bro. Tell you well guess why I'm a mother, so I can do whatever the I want. Right. I, I, I have almost a million followers. What do you have? You have, have a thousand life? followers? I have my I house. Saw your Instagram. You have a thousand followers. I have almost a million followers. I've been doing this for okay. a long time. I was one of the first live stream groups. Oh and I was God. also on Does having a lot of followers make you cool, chat? <laughs> I feel like it doesn't. I feel just as dumb. Even though the channel has grown, I feel just as dumb. Stupid. Television. And I don't feel any cooler. <laughs> I like at all. <laughs> so here's the thing. When I was your guys' age, I went to university. I didn't okay. go straight to And class. where did university get you? Do you know where it got me? Where? <laughs> it just got fired. Where did it get you? You're still at the same spot. Doesn't matter if you took a, a crazy route to get there. You're still doing OnlyFans. It didn't get me anywhere. That's I, don't even so oh okay. shut the up. I was skeptical oh until she was Lord on. Oh, have mercy, bruv. That's why I'm saying, bro, you got to be humble. No matter how much success you get, how much clout you have, you got to be humble, man. Because when you're not humble, that's when that stuff comes to bite you on the tuchus. You want your wedding to cost? My thing is not a cost thing. It just needs to Say be... that up, but we don't, we don't. Come on. I want two weddings. I want one hair and I want one abroad. <laughs> want two weddings? <laughs> then I want two women. Fired. Simple as that. Okay, so you've roughly done the costings, roughly. I haven't done the cost. Oh, roughly, roughly, roughly. Probably like 600k. Probably even more. 600k? Probably that. What, what, what currency are we talking about? Pounds. Lyra? <laughs> Zimbabwe dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Probably like 500k. A wedding? Half a million k. dollars? Wedding! 350. Wedding! How much? Uh, you're trolling me, you're trolling me. Why am I going down? You're Bro, you can do a nice court? wedding for 10 racks. And if a girl really cares about you, she'll just go to the courthouse. A wedding. And just to let you know, chat, that's what me and Cass did. We're not even doing a wedding. That's why I, that's why I know I got a real one, bro. She was willing to just go to the courthouse with me. Got her, a, got her a ring that was, it was a family ring. So all I had to pay for was like maybe 1500 bucks to get it all molded together. Right? 1500 she was happy with it. It was a ring my grandmother had, so we kept it in the family. And she doesn't even want a wedding. That's what I'm talking about. That's the that's the traditional stuff I want. This 350k? Are you kidding me? It would take me multiple years to make 350k. 
Girl. Yeah, my dress, my bridesmaids, my my car, my people, my hair, like my ring. Are we even feeling the whole thing? Yeah. Last I checked, weddings Bro, were she celebrations is of love. She must work a Delulu lemon. <laughs> Because there is no way, brother man, that I'm paying 350 k for a wedding, bro. Uh-huh. What is that? I mean, it looked good, though. It was like, it was glued on there just right. I couldn't even tell. But, I mean, the blonde hair is kind of a dead giveaway. Well, I think any woman that feels they don't need a man, obviously, has never found a man that they needed. Ooh. Mm. So, we can start there. But a lot of women resent their own mother and that's why they resent femininity they don't respect her you have a lot of women saying that got to do this for me and the got to do that for me no and did that for your mama so that means you don't even respect your mama Ooh. you ain't seen no <gasps> your mama a house ain't no flying your mama around your mama don't got a birkin bag your mama worked the job while your daddy worked the job too but you saying you don't want to work say a repost by their own mothers and hate their own fathers because mm. they don't want the type of man their father is. Your father wasn't a millionaire. Modern day women act like men. I mean, that's so true. A lot of these women want, like, a lot of these women wouldn't even accept their fathers as, like, an equal or, or as a partner nowadays. Oh, wow. You are gorgeous. Oh, please. Let me just say that to all the girls you date. Get out. What? Just get out, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's rude. I'm sorry. That's rude of me. Just, can you please get out, please? <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude, just trying to be happy. He's like, yeah, it was rude, but please, still get out. If she starts... Well, and all these women are so used... This is why I say never give a woman, like, a big compliment like that when you meet her from the jump. Like, never call her beautiful, gorgeous, anything like that. One comment will make a nose job. Yeah. That's sickening. Yeah. That's ill. I agree with you that. You can't even accept yourself the way God made you. What the fuck make you think I want to accept you? So do, so do you turn Ooh. down the, the surgery chicks? Bro, they look like ladies to me. Damn. Do you, and then seeing so many women with all chat, this let me know, let me know what you guys think. Like, do you think plastic surgery enhances the aesthetic of a woman or do you think it dehances it? Personally, I hate plastic surgery. Not a huge fan. Unless a girl wants to get her boobs done. I'm cool with that. You flat chested. Your daddy was a carpenter. <laughs> you want to get your boobs a little bigger. I'm cool with that. There's a lot of really good boob jobs out there. But like the BBLs, the nose jobs, the cheek fillers, all that stuff, the nose job, all that stuff. You can leave that at home. Yeah, it just screams I'm insecure. This work done, it make me appreciate that, that you know what I'm saying, that natural look. The natural yeah. look, yeah. Like, I agree. bro, like. I like seeing a little slight skin imperfection. Yeah, it, you it know It make me saying? feel like it's, it's like more. It what, what did Cat Williams say, baby? I don't care if you got stretch marks. It was either you was small and got big, and you was big and got small. <laughs> You're a tiger. <laughs> Make me feel like you me you know what i'm saying like <laughs> like we're, I'm not we're, here, we're here together yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're growing together yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying like bro man i'd rather get a, a a seven and build that to a bad mother because i know her heart gonna be there off the rip. apparently the yeah i mean he's got a point who's at the that mexican ot he was on joe rogan he's actually super based his music's good too okay uh well if you want to get to know me how about you pay my rent can you do that Okay, you can't pay my rent. All right, it's giving DCE, and I definitely don't got time for that. Now, what the hell is DCE? Dry energy, and that's what it looks. <laughs> I've never heard it. Look like you working with, all right? And I ain't got time for all that. That's right, black man. Know your worth. You're right, black man, because I'm not gonna stand for this. Flip the script. It's giving DCE chat. <laughs> Dry coochie energy. I've never heard that one. That one's so good. Matter for a woman. Um, to me personally, I'm not going to judge a woman by her body count. Of course you're not. It, body count never matters to a woman that's got a high body count. For you. If you had a daughter, would you prefer your daughter to have a body count of one or a body count of 100? I do have a daughter. So would you want 100 in and outside your daughter? Well, oh, they God. Or just one? No, I wouldn't, but I also... Okay, so the reason why you wouldn't, that means body count matters. Facts. Because if body count didn't matter, these women would tell their body counts. That's the thing. If it didn't matter, they'd be like, they'd wear it on their forehead. But it does matter. That's why they don't say anything. We're not bosses. I'm sick Excuse of the narrative me? that black women are strong, independent. I, never, I didn't and say we're, strong, independent. Well, I said we're a not boss. man. A man does not want a woman who says she's a boss. Insecure man. No, boss. no, That's no right. man. They you respect bad. you as your singer That's and they're pandering funny. because of your talent. But are they taking you home and saying, "That's my wife"? Somehow, no. there's a difference. Somehow, though. That's a point between your art and being a wife. Because oh, yeah. the Bible, you talked about being a Christian, yeah. but it says the older women need to teach the younger women, and younger women need to submissive. But you know. 
how many young women are not submissive to what men say, but you say you're a Christian woman. Okay. You can't be a Christian woman and buck against what men are saying. That is anti-biblical, it's anti-God, it's anti-Christ, and it makes you the great Babylon. I'm going to be honest But don't you. claim Christianity okay. if you're not willing to submit to when men are telling you. I can a lot of women are Christian feminists. Yes. You came Christianity when it works in your favor, but you put down men and say, I'm, you're rebellious. You are anti-Christ and you are the Jezebel. There's not a man on... Get this woman a chef's hat she is cooking. I love it. That's why you need to get a woman that's God-fearing, man. Cass is a Christian. It helps so much. It helps so much. And the thing is, when we met, bro, I was I was freaking atheist. Ripley's believe it or not. Um, but now I'm a Christian. It's crazy how things work, man. And it's not like she converted me. She was very patient with me. And we knew from the jump that we differed in religious views. But as I've gotten older, I'm more conservative. And I just found myself praying. And, you know, now I'm a God-fearing man. The biggest thing I've ever done was I had a... This dude looks like Fabio back in the day. <laughs> You remember those romance novels? This dude is like looks looks maxed to the but like to the max. This man is the definition of looks maxing. To the back of my head during. What? And then like not even I've ever done. Us who doesn't have to. The most freakiest thing I've ever done was I had a to the back of my head during. She's a runner. She's a track star. Not even like I kind of like my. Like on on the edge, like I like feeling like I'm in danger, but not like actually in danger. Daddy issues. Got it. The question was. Yeah, Jamie, show me the relationship with her father. Fired. Show me the relationship Never with her father. Never truly single, not by choice. It Is that so? Uh -huh. Can be. He will be in some sort of situationship or talking to someone, hooking up with someone, or like trying to take someone out. And if he's not, he's going to be actively on the hunt, actively trying to pursue someone and get someone. That's just the way they are. Is it really? They're never single the way that women are single. Like, what? girls will be single as in, they haven't talked to anyone in like a year, and they're like in their celibate era, but that's not a thing for guys. Oh, my god. You goodness. better sell a bit of that to somebody who cares. Celibate era. I that's called a dry spell, and it's something that needs to be fixed ASAP, unless they're like heartbroken or something. But they're never truly single, so what does this mean for you? Well, let's hear it. Pretty much everything that one has said about men being single has been wrong so far, so I can't wait to hear the next part. This means that if you meet a mysterious, attractive man because he's good looking and he pulled your attention, he's probably got some other sort of strings attached to other people out there. Or, or, he's actually single and plans on staying that way. Because contrary to what some would have you believe, there are men out there, quite a few actually, that are single by choice. And they would happily like to stay that way. Facts. Saying that men are actually- know Lady J always preaching. Get that woman on the pulpit. She is preaching. Goodness gracious. The gospel of Lady J. It's good to see some ladies, of these women on our side. Ladies, ladies. <laughs> this is a public... I've seen this clip, dude. The umbrellas, The butterfly eyebrows. Bro, it looks so bad. Can we stop doing that? Can we end that? Because it really does look like that, bro. I, I don't even know... You, you know where those came from? It came from back in the day when women that were... um. Street walkers, or I don't even know if you want to call them spicy workers, they put those on their eyelashes so they didn't get the um, the Twinkie filling in their eyes. It's crazy, bro. Move! He probably thinks she'll never go there, but we. Uh, you can see by the way she was looking at that. She, she might have been actually a fan, buddy boy. They take me to the mall. They take me shopping. They and they buy me the stuff. What is this build? It's like the fate. Like who? Like these doctors are really doing some work on y'all. What are you talking about? So that's what I was thinking the whole time. Well, if that's what it, if, 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 if that's what a man do, I'm a little boy. You attract the energy. <laughs> that's what a man do. I'm a little boy. <laughs> men take me shopping. Well, I guess I'm a. I'm just a baby. <laughs> I'm just a little baby then. <laughs> I think that. You think you're a catfish? Oh, chat. Is she a catfish? I think that it depends on the picture and the angle. Mm. But I'd like to think not. So you're not a catfish? No. Not here, so, so we're going to ask random people whether you're a catfish or not. Okay. Is that cool? Mm-hmm. Is she a catfish or not? 
she is. She is. She is. Tough issue. Yeah. Oh, hi, why? Is, look at look at how good she looks in that picture. She looks good in. Yeah. And in person, we saying? I see like a five out of ten. Cook. She said it depends on. It depends on the angle. Goodness gracious, baby. You don't even look like the same person. Jason. El Jefe, the truck driver. What is this? Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Zach? Yep, this is. This is John from John Breaks Bad News. I have some bad news from Cody for you. I love this guy. Oh, yeah? Cody B? Cody yeah. B. Uh, he wanted me to let you know that he cries himself to sleep at night. Because you guys don't dance to Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus in his garage anymore. Because <laughs> Samantha doesn't like you guys having fun. Who's Samantha? Sounds like his girlfriend. <laughs> That's my fiance. Your fiance? She sounds like a yeah. fine lady. <laughs> <laughs> not a big <laughs> ball. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely not. <laughs> All right. All right. What is, why is, you. why won't you guys just have a nice time in the garage singing and dancing to Wrecking Ball? I guess I have to go on the to-do list. Yeah, it does. You got to give your man some time. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> he misses you. All right. Yeah, well, I'll have to give my call after this. <laughs> I love you. All right. Love you, too. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bro, you got to make time to spend time with your homies, man. So once a year, me and all my buddies get together. We do like a big Christmas thing because we're all from the same hometown, um, which, by the way, Paris, Texas is where I'm from. Netflix just came out with the show. I think the second episode is based on kids that were in Paris, Texas that did some crazy things. Um, so I would go check out that episode if you care at all. That's But that's where I'm from. Um but uh, every year we get together and we do like a little Christmas hangout. We get an Airbnb. We do our thing. And it's it's just healthy. It's come almost like a yearly bachelor party. Instead of just doing it once, we do it every year just to kick it with each other, catch up, and just, you know, reminisce on old times. It's new that you can pump your gas while your car is on. You can't. It'll blow up. You know, you, you can actually pump your gas when the car started. I remember I did this when I was dating a chick that was pretty stupid stupid um she did it one time and i was like this car's gonna explode she's like no it's fine and it actually worked it was fine <laughs> ripley believe it or not nothing happened you can't <laughs> my kids over here you can't you can't no you can't you can you can it's just really <laughs> like the one thing you couldn't do <laughs> thanks but no thing yeah i mean it's it's just not smart i wouldn't do it i've seen uh, a girl do it most not a good idea Simp thing that a guy has done for you. Oh, I'm going to New York um, on Monday with a guy that I barely know, and he got us the helicopter ride for 45 minutes over New York, and I barely talked to him. You a simp? Is there end the simp epidemic, bro? You know how much he probably had to run up a bag for that. Any chance something happens? He's really nice. I'm trying, but like I'm not. Bro, Jeffrey Dahmer would have had a generational run. <laughs> he would have went nuts in this generation. And I've literally, like, I'm trying, okay? Like, you want to do that for me? Cool. Like, but honestly... I'm not gonna... I don't trust men. Stop the cap. Why don't you trust men? My ex. Then my friend. Like I said, if you make the men of your past... Pray, uh, uh, you, the men of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past, there will be no future. Why don't you trust men? Because of my ex. That's how it always get. That's how it always is, man. Everybody I know. Was your These women get burned and think every man is made of fire. Ooh, put it on a t-shirt. Goodness gracious. Your ex, like a thug or like a she dude or what was it? He's a felon, but he's also 10 years older than me. Oh my god. Stupid. <laughs> y'all heard it. So, so in 2024, y'all still going for felons? No, not anymore. Oh, I'm good. The, the new guy, he does therapy. Would y'all ever give a nerdy not guy? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. You can't. The, the stories write themselves. Hi, Chance. Yes, that he is. You're he not, you're not he, him, though. You just said that. Okay, but but I might after. After a whole helicopter ride around New York? Stop yeah. Cat. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. <laughs> she doesn't trust men enough. <laughs> after a helicopter ride? Bro, if you don't let me beat the cheeks, I'm going to be mad. Taking a girl on a helicopter ride? Chat, let me know. You're not going to go is shopping. My dream. I'm this not. Is my car. I'm not spending so much fun. Come on, I'm not spending shopping. any money on you. You're not getting any money. Why, from why, why not? Because you're giving me mad gold digger vibes, to be honest with you. So what did you just call me? You only want me for this car, beautiful, so have a nice day. I am beautiful, so spend money on 
money. Why would I spend money on you though? You only want me for the car. Like, look at this. Like, I just bought this car too, and you're touching it like it's yours. Did I tell you no? Yeah. Okay. Nobody tells me no. Yeah, I just did. Have a nice day. How about? Bro, this gotta be a skit. I'm not going anywhere. I always get what I want. A man will work for years. Bro, she got it. This gotta be a joke. There's no way that's real. Come on now. Yeah. You can stay. You like her? Hi. You look for me. You remember me? You can stay. That's all you gonna say? You can go. Get up. Nah. Get up. Get up. I miss you. I wanted a hug. Did you gonna leave? No, I don't wanna leave. So you get a hug, you can leave. If you if you leave, you can stay. <laughs> Which one you doing? <laughs> hello, hello. If you leave. You What's, now? What's your name? Tony. Tony. I thought it was Woody. So you asked me what my name was. Because I just wanted to ask. <laughs> You playing with me already? I'm not playing with you. I'm like, just... Do I look like somebody to play with? Do I look like somebody to play with? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, you do. Nephew, you can stay. I can stay? You can stay. He said I can stay. It's because I'm pretty. You say what? To the left. Damn. What's up, Woody? Big, yeah, get this mother... Yeah. Hook your s*** now. Get him, big. Get him, big. Get him. Get him out of here. I will get fuck him out of here. Hello. Every girl I know that wear blonde hair said, got to go. <laughs> My man didn't stop. <laughs> he said every girl that wears a blonde wig still Gucci. And for three months, yes. does that mean that you have not washed your hair in three months? Yeah. My real hair? Yes, that's what it means. You washed, washed the, the fake hair? Yes. This got crazy. It's Funny how she says it like it should be. Wait, she washes the fake hair? That's crazy work. That's real crazy work. This lady tried to touch on me. At a massage place, and then refused to give my money back. But this man, the first guy to call the cops on a happy ending. General, she's going to jail. I thought most guys went there for that. That's why you go. I stand for Jesus. She tried. Well, hey, good on him. But I thought that's why guys went to these. I, I thought that was the whole point. Do you need to have your mouth open? I think I've seen this. What is it? What is this? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> what is that? I mean, just don't take information well when they are the cause of the issue that the man is bringing to them, right? Like they want right. communication about how, how hard my job is, I'm tired, my best friend snaked me, man, my mama tripping, my family want this from me, all that. And all that, they open ears, they, 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 they sitting down with their therapist's legs crossed with the notepad and everything, open ears to listen to you, right? But when it comes time for me to sit down and tell you about what you doing wrong. Oh, they don't want to hear that. It's not as open. It's not as much of a, okay, I'm going to sit here and let him get at least a complete thought out before I jump in and I interrupt him before he gets across what he's trying to express. So again, if you want your man to be more communicative, ladies, let me give you a tip. Listen, Stop interrupting him mm -hmm. when he's coming to you and he's trying to express himself. Acknowledge the fact that it took him a lot to sit down and talk to you in the first place. So when I sit down and I try and you interrupt me every four words... And then you question, damn, why, why do my man talk to me? He talked to his friends, he talked to everybody, but he don't talk to me. It's because you can't shut up and accept what it is that that man that loves you more than anything in this world is trying to get across. So again, if we want more communication, let's open the door for it. Communicate. Well, the thing is, what is it? Two, eye, uh, two ears, one mouth. Ladies, the same... Words that are in listen are also in silent. So if you're not willing to be quiet when someone's talking, you're never going to hear anything. But yeah, two ears, one mouth. I think that's Marcus Aurelius, maybe. The club, we run into the church. <laughs> I want a church girl. But my God, there's more <laughs> up in here now. How about a quick run to the... <laughs> um, first, you're short, and I'm a tall girl. I like six foot and up. Okay. You're two, tall? I what? It's, and then your electrician. I'm thinking about like businessman, doctor, lawyer, because I'm trying to like find a man who could provide. You don't look like you would attract one of those guys, though. For my kids and provide for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I just, and you're from Alabama. I heard things about Alabama. I'm from New York. So, yeah. no, thank you. Mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. What'd you hear about Alabama? I feel like Alabama, I don't you think know. You know. Let us know. What, what have you heard? Yeah, um, 
you could probably marry your sister. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, so I, I, I don't think I, so. it's a it's a little. I've been there. It's a little weird over there. Uh -oh. So no, thank you. It's okay. just the south. Uh, okay, <laughs> she coming for your people. I know, I know. <laughs> I can't even let her go like yeah. that. No. <laughs> okay, and is she somebody that you would approach? Is she your type? Like anything you like, don't like? No, I don't think I like her attitude. I don't like the attitude. I think you think you're a little up there. I mean, no, nah, I think you, you gotta come down a little bit. No, down. I think you think I'm up there. No, I don't. I don't. I yes, don't. you do. So why would you assume that? Well, I just feel like for you to just say that, talk down about Alabama, you don't know. I I, I feel like no. I definitely think you gotta do more research or whatever. I did. That stuff for That's you. my job, literally to research, and I researched y'all, and I didn't like it. Okay. Well, yeah. no, I definitely wasn't talking. Been there one time, done a ton of research, bro. Come on. To you, no, no. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So just the attitude. Yeah. Women can't. They can always dish it, but they just cannot take it, bro. She's not that cute either. So. Oh, she's oh. <laughs> not cute either. Okay. okay. <laughs> she missed a class on how to hold a polite conversation, but Thanks. that's not a problem because my man put her in her place real quick. This, this one hair right here killing me, bro. Why didn't y'all tell me I had it? Try to tuck it in. Don't move in with your significant other until you know that. This is your person. This is who you're going to marry because up and leave. Leave you and your child high and dry like this man did me. Stay home to watch our kid, right? While he go work and pay bills, which was his choice, not mine. I preferred to work. But since he didn't want that, he took on the bills. Never had a problem with going 50-50. Never. He takes on the bills. I guess it becomes too much for him. Taking care of a child and working is also too much for him. He ups and leave. He proceeds to start taking materialistic things like a little boy. Bro, who put up them panels? Them things is crisscrossed applesauce. <laughs> you see all the gaps in those? What the? Because I don't know many men that will sit here and take materialistic things in an apartment where his 10-month-old still resides. Like, what are you getting out of taking things out of the house where your kid is still... Live. What I want to know is what did you do for him to do that? It's like, I don't understand. I just feel like you, you at that point, you're, you're being petty. You want to be more sassy, more feminine than me. That's okay, cool. Don't care about materialist things. They get replaced. He took the TV, the TV stand, the couch. It seems like you're mad, though. He took the bar set up. PSA, no man will ever leave a... That's what I mean. Like, you, you seem like you're pretty bent about this whole situation. I'm going to keep it a buck. Chat, let me know. Does she seem pretty mad? All right, so let me get this straight. You invited me out to come to eat. And that was not even my idea. That was your idea, right? Okay, and the problem is? Ooh, I know and I'm offering to pay half, but you want me to pay the whole thing? I'm the woman. I shouldn't have to pay anything. Yeah, I invited you out because I wanted to go out. That doesn't mean I have to pay. No, no, this was your idea. Stupid. Actually, I don't even have to be a gentleman to pay half of it. Because you, you're going to pay it all. But this was your idea to come out. You're the one that invited me out. And you're the man, so you have to pay the bill. Says who? Says me. What do you mean? In what book is that written in? It doesn't have to be written. That's just a rule. This is my card right here. I'm trying to tell you I'm going to pay half of the bill. How much is it? You, you, you Hold pay, on. You pay the whole bill or you sleep on the couch. 300 and 300. You pay the whole bill or you sleep on the couch. I ain't even trying to go to your house. I'm trying to go home. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep on the couch. What? How about that? Dude, running up a $300 bill at a restaurant has to be very difficult. Where are they at? I mean, if they got TVs on the wall, this is giving chilies. I'm no, but you're still paying this damn bill. $320, and I'm trying to tell you. I'm gonna pay half of it. And you telling me to pay the whole thing? Yeah. When it was your idea to take me out? Yeah. Uh-uh. Because of what again? Because you're the man and you're responsible for the bill. You invite me out, I- Bruh, yeah, hey, chat, let me know. If a girl invites you out, are you paying the bill? There's no way, bruv. Loki is at PetSmart getting a bath today, so you guys don't get to see him. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I would love to give him a treat, but he's out there getting a bath. Um. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. It's been selling like absolute hotcakes. So I appreciate you guys. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.